Alright guys, welcome to your 14th iPhone development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be finishing up this segment of control switches whatever you name this program that we're building I named my project Bacon Tube by the way so uh, let's go ahead and open up Interface Builder make sure you got everything built right you don't have any errors in your code first because you know that would not be good so the first thing that we want to add is a segment and control and the symbol for this is this little one two button so go ahead and grab it and drag yours over on the screen and put it anywhere you want now these first and second those titles are you know they're pretty good but you know I'm still tempted to go ahead and change this one to switches and change this one to button that's a tidbit better make it more easier on our users so now once you're done with that go ahead and select the segment control as a whole and we want to add the action to it that we built for it so go ahead and make sure your control connections is popped up or your connections inspector whatever you name it and where it says value change that little circle go ahead and drag this all the way over to files owner and the method we built for this segment of control is the main control switched so then whenever we click this in any way that method called main control switch is going to be called and it pretty much controls what to hide and what to show on your program so after this of course we need two switches so here are your switches right here go ahead and add one right there and go ahead and add another one right there they look pretty good right there so now what do we need to do well we need to go ahead and add those outlets to the switches so go ahead and select file owner control drag and this one is the left switch of course actually it really doesn't matter and control drag this one is the right switch pretty cool alright so we got that done but now what we want to do before we add anything else to the screen since the button is going to be covering this up and we might have trouble accessing it later go ahead and select this and in your connections inspector what we want to hit is value change make sure this is selected alright what we want to go is value changed drag over files owner and the method we have this is switched changed so we did that for left switch now select your right switch connections inspector switch over value change so anytime you switch either of them switches the method called switch change is going to be called and remember all the switch change method is if you hit this one it changes this one too if you hit this one it changes this one too pretty cool huh so now these switches are good to go we added the outlets we added the action method so now all we have to do is add that big old button to the screen so go ahead and here is your symbol for a round rectangle button go ahead and you can add this over right over your switches pretty sweet huh so since either one of these either the button or the switches is going to be hidden at a time then that's why you're allowed to add things on top of each other and that's kind of the beauty of segmented controls you can add objects on top of each other if you have limited screen space and uh... well i mean it's pretty obvious save space by having a segmented control button so now what is the first thing we want to do well let's go ahead and add a title to this be like i am a button pretty sweet title so now what we want to do is make this button hidden by default i mean we have code later on once you start clicking buttons to either hide or show it but by default as soon as your program starts up we want this button to be hidden so go ahead and select your button and in your attributes inspector go ahead and under your drawing uh, drawing menu i guess it's called there is attribute called hidden make sure this is checked and now your button is going to appear below your switches so that's how you know that it's hidden so now what do we need to do from here well remember we have an outlet to control this button so go ahead and in your files owner control drag to your button and make sure it's not over switch make sure it's over that round rectangle button go ahead and attach the button outlet to it so now are we done no one more teeny thing in your connections inspector make sure you have your button selected did I sell a clip before? let me see it. yep alright now that you have your button selected what you need to do is whenever you tap this button we want to call that method called 
what was that method? Button pressed, I think. So go ahead and touch up inside, drag it over to file owner, and yep, it's called button pressed. So now whenever we press this button, it's going to call that method button pressed. And remember, we didn't write any code for this. We're going to be doing this in the next couple of tutorials. But that is pretty much how you connect, I mean, your action to the button. You knew this before. So now, I mean, everything should be good to go. So go ahead, file, save, and in your Xcode, build and run. And let's see what's going on. Let's see if our segmented control works first. Switches, button. All right, this works. Now let's see if our switch change method works. On, off, sweet. Let's see if this one. Awesome, awesome. And hopefully whenever we click our button, nothing happens. Awesome, amazing. So here's what's going on. This segmented control button, what action is handling this? Well, it actually is this method right here, main control switch. Whenever you click this, the index is going to be set to zero. So that is why the switches show and everything else is hidden. And when you click button, as you can see, button hidden, it's no longer hidden. But the switches, left and right, they're both hidden, so yes. So then you say, all right, well, when you click these switches right here, click my iPhone simulator and really my computer just froze for like half a second alright now I'm lagging or something there we go so whenever we click these switches what methods control these it's the switches change methods right here and what it does is it get whatever switch you clicked it sets it equal to my switch it says did you click it on or off if you click the on, I'm going to turn both of them on. If you click the off, I'm going to turn both of them off. And that's how this works. So that's the basics of this program. In the next tutorials, we're going to be enhancing this program anymore and actually adding some functionality to this button press method. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, just uh, ask me on my forum, and I will definitely answer it for you guys. And also, uh, you know, I think I'm going to call that girl from the grocery store and yeah I'll tell you guys how that goes too so uh anyways thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later